Hey guys, welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to be going over the LR Beerus and Weiss card, Global Harmony Through Destruction. Now, this is going to be a linking guide for the unit. Um, if you haven't checked it out already, I'm going to have a how to get LR Beerus and Weiss from SSR up to LR. So just in case you guys were wondering about that, it's a separate video. Um, that's not going to be going over this video. This is going to be a linking guide because they are not category leads. It's just going to be talking about best links on their respective categories. Um, on top of that, before we start, please go ahead and make sure to hit that subscribe button before we move on. I will help, please help show your support of the channel. We've seen a lot of growth, especially the past couple of weeks. I want to keep on going. I want to hit that 2,000 mark. Uh, anyway, so with this card, um, the Beerus and Weiss card, when they get to LR, it's super strength type. Key plus 4 HP, attack and defense plus 100%. Extreme strength type. Key plus 2 HP, attack and defense plus 70%. Really nice unit. Uh, super attack, power, flick, 12 to 17 key. Super attack uh, for 18 plus key, God of Destruction's Edict. Uh, awesome, awesome uh, stuff. Uh, colossal damage, the enemy recovers 7% HP when doing the power flick. Mega colossal damage to the enemy and recovers 12% when doing 18% key, or 18. Uh, you really, obviously, obviously really want to go for that mega colossal, so for that HP regeneration, 12% is really awesome. Uh, because of that... Um, you might want to do uh, do a, a mixture of crits and double attacks because if you get the Mega Colossal, you get a double attack off, you get 7%. So that's almost a full 20% HP recovery if you get a double attack to go off, the double super attack to go off. So you might want to consider doing a double super attack. In terms of passive skill, Decision of Destruction, attack plus 80% and attack and defense plus 60% for 5 turns after receiving attack. And we're going to talk about that in a second. That does mean he's going to be doing additional damage over to almost, I think it's over 200%. Uh, link skills are Godly Power, Prodigies, The Innocence, Connoisseur, Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle, Legendary Power. With his link skills, um, we're going to talk about that in a minute. Uh, best linking buddy in game, buddies in game are going to be all of the Beeruses. So any Beerus card that you have, uh, well, at least now he's coming into play. Categories are Realm of Gods and Movie Bosses, which is pretty decent. Um, max stats are going to be HP of 16,688, attack of 14,425, defense of 11,250. Base dupe system is 18.6 for HP, uh, HP. attack is 16.4, and defense is 13.2. Uh, definitely, obviously, if you get dupe system, bottom right path, top left path, and then at that point, it's up to you. I would probably go for bottom left path uh, as your third dupe, just because of the HP regeneration, you get a lot more health that way on the team, so it's going to help you uh, get more health, add to your defense, um, and you're going to be able to recover more health when you do that. So, uh, yeah, definitely make sure you do that as your third option. At least that's my opinion on the matter. Uh, 12 key multipliers, 150%, 24 key multipliers, 200%. Maximum super le attack level is 20 with additional 30% when you hit it. Uh, the additional attack and defense boost is calculated separately for a total attack boost of 180%. Okay, so almost 200% for five turns after being attacked. Uh, slightly higher if legendary power is factored in. Once five turns are over, attack and defense plus 60% will activate a gun. Oh, will activate again upon receiving another attack. So that's really awesome. So uh, you're almost always going to be alive. It's not just like it's only there for five turns and it goes away. I did not know that part of it. Glad that was added into the wiki. So you can have a constant 188% attack buff. Really, really, really good unit. So you, you have to factor in the 188% with the Mega Colossal damage, how much damage you're actually going to be doing. It's going to be insane. Ah, oh, man. So let's go ahead and jump over here into the team building. Let's go over and switch to the Dokkan Battle Builder view. Um, so this is going to be his best linking buddies in game. I did have it set for Realm of Power, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, all of them are going to be Beerus, because this is five or more. So uh, the two card, the three cards over here that are really good for him are going to be the uh, the OG Dokkan, the OG Dokkan exclusive Beeruses. Um, you have the STR Beerus, the Tech Beerus, um, and you have the new LR Beerus. The LR Beerus before he Dokkan awakens to the LR Beerus. So it's the TR Beerus. So the Strength Beerus is the Innocence Prodigy, Shocking Speed Connoisseur, Godly Power, Fierce Battle, so much attack damage here. It's 30, 40, 50% attack buffs linked together. 5% HP recovery and 2 key. Uh, with the other Beerus, it's literally the same exact thing. You have, um, yeah, so 30, 40, 50, 2 key. And so 50% damage output, 2 key. It recovers 5% HP. And the same thing for the last one. The other two Beeruses don't have that because they don't have Fierce Battle. Um, so you just have, what is that, 15, 25, 35% attack buff. 2 key Connoisseur for HP regeneration. And the same thing over here. So, uh, not that bad. Obviously, you're going to want to link him with one of the guys that have Fierce Battle. Um, let's see. I would probably... I'm not going to do this one, right? This is what... Eight, yeah, attack with... Six, no, I don't like the Rage mechanic. If you have a second LR Beerus, it might be more worth it for you. Attack plus 7%. Attack and defense plus 50% for 5 turns after receiving attack. He's going to do a lot of damage. And then the OG Strength Beerus over here, who is high chance of attack plus 200%. Honestly, between the two of them, I don't know who I would prefer to run on the team. I don't know if you should... 
uh, just give him a dupe system or if you should use this. I think this one hits a lot harder, a lot harder consistently. So you might want to just keep one of the uh, TUR versions of the LR Beerus in case you were able to pull two of them. That way you can keep them linked together for a consistent damage output. This guy's really good and he hits off the same exact link skills, which is great. Uh, it's just that his damage output isn't going to be there. So you probably just want to keep the TUR variant of the LR Beerus uh, before feeding him into a dupe path if you pulled two. Uh, next is going to be the Mono Strength Team for Super, as he is a leader for that. So Mono Super Strength is going to be the uh, Super Saiyan God Q, or the, the, not the Super Saiyan God Q, the God Q card for Shocking Speed, Fierce Battle, Godly Power, 30% Attack Buff, 2 Key, which is really nice. Um, obviously, the two Beeruses, which we're going to kind of just keep off to the side, because there's no reason to actually mention them. We already talked about that. And the uh, Base Form Gotenks for the Innocent, Shocking Speed, and Fierce Battle. Not bad, 25%. I'd probably run the uh, Goku on there, if anything. He's a lot better. He's very viable. He's viable on a lot of different... In terms of the Gotenks, attack plus 70%, 7% at the start of the turn, plus additional 23% as a first attacker. So he might be kind of worth it to keep um, with Beerus if you don't have anyone else to link with him. Just make sure to keep him in the first uh, slot once you Doken Awaken him to TUR. Uh, next one is going to be, I think this is the Realm of Gods. This is the Realm of Gods team, yes. So I have all the Beeruses down. That's what these are over here. These are all the Beeruses we already talked about. Um, in terms of other linking buddies, uh, I think the, the Intelligence Weeks would probably be a really good one. Uh, intelligence Weeks is key plus two, attack and defense plus 20% for all allies. going to be very good to help buff him. Attack and defense buffs, so you also get Godly Power Shock and Speed Connoisseur. So while they lack all the attack buffs, you're at least getting the passive skill for additional two key. Uh, so that's going to be a four key total, which is definitely going to help out LR Beerus. Um, and you get Connoisseur and Godly Power. Even if you do have a Beerus to run alongside this LR Beerus, the Weiss is going to be really good for the HP regeneration. Because then you're going to be getting 10% HP regeneration if you link this guy with Beerus and Weiss at the same time. Definitely going to be beneficial. Plus, remember, if you're going to run a double LR Beerus and Weiss team, uh, whenever Weiss comes on the play, if he's going to be off your primary rotation, they're always going to get the HP regeneration when there's a field. Uh, this Weiss does the same exact thing. Shocking Speed, Connoisseur, Godly Power. Uh, we already spoke of that Strength God Q. The Agility God Q does the same thing. Shocking Speed, Godly Power, Fierce Battle. And then you have the two Zamasus, the Intelligence and the Strength. Prodigies, Godly Power, Fierce Battle for both of them. So it's only straight up attack buffs, no key. But it's 40% attack buff, so that is nice. So that is definitely going to be a viable option for you on a Realm of Gods team to at least give him um, buffs uh, from uh, for just attack. So overall, really good for that. Again, just run a Beerus with him. And if you can't run a Beerus, I'd run a Weiss. My opinion, Intelligence Weiss would be my recommendation. Last but not least, movie bosses. Uh, again, all down here. You, this is nothing but the Beerus is down here, so we don't need to talk about them too much. Uh, we're going to be talking about the movie bosses that link the, that link the best with him. Uh, Broly's just going to share, um, let's see, two link skills, which is Legendary Power and Fierce Battle. Uh, this Frieza is Prodigies and Fierce Battle. This Frieza is Prodigies and Fierce Battle. And these guys are all Shocking Speed and Fierce Battle. So everyone over here will share Shocking Speed and Fierce Battle with him. So it's not bad, two key 15% attack buff. Um, it's really up to you on who you want to run. Obviously, you can't run two Janema, so strength one over the intelligence one. Um, the Korra, I would probably run. Um, uh, and for Frieza, I would probably run this Golden Frieza over any of these two. So that that's what I would recommend. So it would be like really LR Broly, possibly. Um, and then these three guys right over here, it, outside of your out your Beerus cards, if you don't have them. Or, well, yeah, that's it. So that, that's going to be my recommendation for movie bosses team, since you don't have a Whis to link there if you don't have Beerus. It would either be... Uh, Janemba, Korra, or the gold, the, the Technique Golden Frieza, or if you happen to have LR Brawl, that's another good choice, but again, they're both LRs, and they don't really have any link skills together for key, so you're probably going to want at least one of them. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I want to keep this video a little bit shorter for the LR guide. I know it's, um, I, I th they're, they're a good unit. I do like the unit. I, I don't have them myself, so I'm a little bit upset about that, but then again, I mean, for a super strength team, they're, they're already so ridiculously overpowered. Uh, I feel like this would have probably, well, I mean, they did need to do the actual super strength for key plus four with their LR. But, like, I don't know who else I'm going to really run on that team. They're cool for their leader ability, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Please let me know down in the comments below what you think about the card. Uh, were you able to pull him? How hard does he hit? Did you pull any dupes? What do you think about running the TUR Beerus, um, for, like, the LR version of him? Uh, alongside this or do you prefer to run the other guy uh, the other strength beers and run the lr alongside of him so that way you can give him a dupe system i personally I, i'd probably use the tur for, from version of the lr to run alongside him but i just want to know what you guys think down in the comments below but again thank you for joining me here today make sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new and i'll catch you all down in the comments below peace